Hello, I am Staff Sergeant Michael Sturvant from the 353rd Special Operations Support Squadron at Kadena Air Base, here to tell you about an agile combat employment capability that can help the Air Force move cargo pallets and equipment in austere environments without the utilization of a forklift, or as I like to call it, Project Organ Trail. But before I tell you how it works, let me put you through a little scenario. Imagine the 353rd Special Operations Wing or another air mobility unit is tasked to deploy short notice to an undisclosed austere location in response to a crisis. The mission will require the movement of critical manpower, equipment, and other supplies. Now ask yourself, what issues could potentially slow a response? One reason could be the lack of available forklifts, essentially losing the capability to lift and move the payloads. In my time at Kadena Air Base supporting the indo pacom Theater, the biggest issues I have experienced are delays getting personnel and cargo out the door rapidly. This barrier is not unique to AFSOC or its C-130s. It is applicable to the cargo brought into a deployment site, whether the payload is coming from AMC or other Air Force C-130s. The ability to move the payloads is in high demand, and there are not enough forklifts, nor does it make sense to field more of them. Also, to prep one for airlift takes around 48 man hours, not to include the joint inspection process. Once it is uploaded, it takes five pallet positions for the lift and one for the fuel it will need downrange. That means we need another C-130 just to bring in a forklift. The Air Force needs smaller, lighter, and faster mechanisms to move cargo using a system that could be organically carried on Air Force C-130s and other transport aircraft. Without this, our response time is slower and there are higher risks to injury because our fellow airmen will try to move the cargo without the forklift because the mission must get done and lives may be at stake. But we think we may have an answer. Project Organ Trail. Now remember that task to deploy on short notice? Once the C-130 lands and performs a combat offload, a minimum of four personnel will be able to erect a tripod at each corner of a pallet with a hand chain hoist attached. This will be capable of lifting 16,000 pounds. The four separate chain hoist devices will be connected to the corners of the 4630 pallet. Once connected, the personnel will use the hoist to lift the pallet off the ground approximately 15 to 20 inches. The members will then slide two rolling platforms under the pallet and engage the foot brakes. They then will lower the pallet onto the rolling platform and strap it down. Members can then mobilize the platform by utilizing the push or pull method or attaching a tow bar or tow strap to a small vehicle such as ATV or M-Razor and then move the equipment wherever they may need. All this is done on a single C-130 rather than two as required today. To make Project Organ Trail a reality, my ask is for engineering and acquisition support and approximately $150,000 to develop, test, and demonstrate this capability in one to two operational experiments in the Indo-PACOM region. Thank you for your time and consideration.